Hi, I'm Dawn from the Saskatoon Public Library and my daughter Emily is here with me today and we're going to show you how to do a stop motion movie. The best part of stop motion movies is that the app that we're going to use is free. Um, we've experimented with this program a little bit with our Imaginators program. It's an after school program at the Saskatoon Public Library. So we're just going to show you how to use the app. So we're going to use this stop motion app that's down here on the bottom. And again, you can install that for free. And this is what you get when you install it. So we're going to click new movie. And then Emily and I are going to show you how to make a video. It gives you little tips as you go along. So you can just dismiss that one. All right. And we've used Lego as our stand. The most important part of a stop motion video is that you want to have a stand that keeps your device still so that when you're taking photos your video doesn't move back and forth like that everything is still except for what you want to move in the video so here we go all right so when you're all set up and you have all the supplies that you want for your movie today we're using blue play-doh which will act as our water and then we have a little swimmer dude here um, so what we're going to do is take a series of pictures that will become our movie and the more pictures you take, the better it will be. So Emily's gonna get her first scene ready. Um, you wanna take pictures with just little changes. So if she makes a wave, then we're gonna make the wave half the size or a quarter of the size, and then a little less and a little less and a little less. So what we do is we take a photo, pressing this little red button. Do you want to take two photos, Emily? Okay, so we're gonna take two photos of each scene. So now she's gonna make a small change and just the start of the next one. Yeah, that looks perfect. And then we'll take another photo, maybe two photos of this one. So now she'll make another change. Is that one getting smaller or is it getting a little bit bigger? You could, you could do it either way. The more photos you take, the more exciting the movie will be and the more fluid it will feel. Oh, we have a little gap here. We're seeing through our water. Okay. That one looks good. We'll take pictures quickly before it falls over. <clears throat> oh, you have to be careful. Yeah, our Play-Doh is a little thin. Um, you can use anything to make a stop motion video. You can use little toy, little toys, little cars. Play-Doh works really great. Clay would work really well. So we keep taking pictures. And Emily, let's take a picture with your hand accidentally in our scene. So leave one hand in there. So let's say you take a photo and you don't want that hand photo in there. We'll show you how to come back later and take that photo out of the scene. <clears throat> you can also use um, cool calendars, old calendars for your backdrop. Right now we just have a black okay. backdrop, but you Ready? can find cool photos to use as your backdrop for your video. That wave is falling naturally. Yes. <laughs> so the idea of our story is that the wave is going to come and envelop our swimmer. Is that the plan? Yeah. Okay, I like it. So we're making another wave. Okay. There's lots of cool settings that you can find in the app. So you can explore those. You can do a timer option, which is just above the red button, if you can see on our screen. And um, if you push the timer, then you can have it set to go, the camera to go off at certain intervals. Okay, oh, we're out of focus. If you get out of focus, tap your screen and then it'll be back in focus for you before you take your photos. All right, let's get that swimmer. That looks really good. Uh, on the photo screen, M, that looks pretty good because he's quite covered up. There's right. a nice little change. Is his head gonna burst yeah, right, through? right through? You could just probably push the Play-Doh right over top of his head. That looks really cool. All right. Oh, it looks like he's coming, splashing right through the wave. I right. like it. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I like how the wave's standing up on the back. Okay. 
it gives you a little count of how many um, shots that you've taken on the bottom right hand Sweet. corner. So we're at 20 shots now for this movie. That looks pretty good, Emily. We'll make sure that it's focused. Okay. Do you want to do anything else for the movie? Are you ready to right. watch it? Okay, we're going to watch it with our mistaken... Do you want a picture like that? Sure. Okay. Why not? He doesn't look very clear. Let's try and clear him up. Okay. So, if you want to take a look at what you've got for your movie before stopping, right below the red dot is a little arrow play button. And so this shows us our movie, and it'll replay it, hopefully, from the beginning. Oh, no, it just showed us the end of the movie. Okay, I'm going to take this out of the holder so I can show you the movie. So we're going to click on this little arrow on the top right, and it'll show us all of the photos we've taken for the entire show. So we're going to go back to the one where we see Emily's hand. We don't want that one. So we're going to click on that one, and when you do, it gives you a whole bunch of options. And we're going to erase that hand. And it always wants us to buy extra things. We're going to try erasing that. Oh. Delete. I tried to delete. It says it won't let me. You pressed erase. There's a delete oh, button. Oh, okay. Let's do the delete. There. Ah, it's good Emily's here to help me. Okay, so now we deleted the hand. <laughs> and we're back to the beginning of our movie. So let's watch our movie again one more time. Here it is from the beginning. And it'll keep replaying the movie over and over so you can enjoy your fun little video as many times as you want until you press the pause button. I'm gonna pause right with it catching over his head. So enjoy making stop motion movies at home. Show us your videos and your uh, projects that you make. Share them with us on social media. We'd love to see them.